I think we have a, a friendship, really. We do a lot of things together, and she's a big source of joy in my life. And certainly has taught me to be grateful and have an attitude of gratitude with a lot of things. I think Bindi excels at the farm dog work because she has an intense loyalty to me. I don't have to ask her to come with me. I know that she's always there. On the farm, she works cows. For us, that could look like moving a cow from inside to outside the barn. We'll go out on pasture and make sure everybody's okay. If there's somebody that needs to come in, she can help gather them up and bring them down. When I'm feeding the cows on pasture, she drives them away from the feed trough so that they're not crowding me when I'm going to feed grain. The cows weigh 1,200, 1,500 pounds, and we've got a group of 30 of those that are antsy to get their grain. By having the dog there to enforce some rules, it keeps me a lot safer, and I can work a lot more independently. I mean, I couldn't do what I do on a daily basis without having her there. It helps us work efficiently, but it also keeps me safe. So last spring, I went into a pen to sort heifers out, and when I came around a corner, I felt something bump me in the back and turned, and a heifer was charging me. Before I could really react, she had me pinned to the ground. And being against the headlocks, I couldn't just crawl out. Nobody else was around. I knew the dogs were there, but I didn't know exactly where, so I started calling Bindi's name. A few seconds later, I saw her feet trotting around the outside of the pen. You don't train for the contingency that, OK, now I'm laying on the ground and I can't show her exactly where I need her to go. And so then I gave her her cue to push the animals around to the backside of the freestall as if we were going to clean the barn. She did it perfectly. She started pushing him around. The heifer let off, and I got out of there before she could come at me again. The dog was the only thing I had there, you know, to give me a chance to get out safely. farm. Bindi's work goes beyond the farm. At the end of the day, Bindi is almost my constant companion. Her joy and quirkiness and craziness, I couldn't imagine that not being there. There's a saying, having considered all the options, choose joy. And she helps me do that. Now, how awesome was that story? It was great. That was great. Good dog. Good dog. Save someone's life. Good dog. Very good dog. Well, that does it for this edition of Twyla. Be sure to join us next week when we'll have more on crawfish season. And I'm hoping that that means Avery is bringing back some for me. We'll see if they live. If they live, <laughs> you'll, you'll be able to get them. Until then, you can watch all of our stories online at twilatv.org. And be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And you can also find all of these stories and more on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you know when we put out new content. For all of us here at Twyla, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again right here next week. Thank you.